Uh, I tend to describe myself as a neuroscientist. Uh, that's the that's the word I if you try to capture what's happening in one word I try to call myself a neuroscientist but it doesn't capture what I want to do uh, and uh, the, the reasons for it uh, so when we're growing up at least at least in uh, my generation and <laughs> I, I feel old saying that uh, you're, we were conditioned, right? So you, you get into high school and you're going into either medicine or engineering and stuff like that. You're going to become an engineer or a doctor. And uh, subject to the same conditioning. It's not as if I knew anything better or had any grand plans. And um, it took getting into IIT Madras and then getting completely depressed by it because it didn't seem as if I was learning anything that I wanted to learn uh, that I started looking out for other things to do. And the logical extension of everything that I'm doing is to be able to build AI. If immortality is in the path of humanity, sure, why not? The way I think about this is um, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. My delusion is that I'm contributing towards mankind's development. And the way I can contribute, unfortunately, since I can't be an astronaut or a theoretical physicist, not to say that there are other there aren't other great professions to contribute, right? Uh, those are the three that I would be interested in. Uh, I chose neuroscience. We have in our brain. It's, it's not going to happen that way. What's going to happen is there's going to be a lot of work, a lot of subsystems that are going to be built, and brains are going to be assembled. We have something like 80 billion neurons in here, uh, with trillions of connections. And uh, it's not, it's not going to happen overnight that I'm just going to create a brain with similar, uh, at similar scale. Um, and even if I did, and people have actually built such large scale simulations, uh, they don't do much. It takes over, becomes so intelligent that um, uh, it, it, it becomes a runaway process and we can never catch up. Yes, that's the scarier part of things. Uh, there are other potent questions that need to be asked. As we are creating other intelligence, let's say we don't reach that singularity, but we create intelligence. How are we going to treat that intelligence? We as mankind have a very bad track record of uh, treating each other, uh, how we treat each other or other species. So what are we doing? Are we creating slaves? Do we have to have another emancipation proclamation that will actually give robots rights? Are we going to have civil wars about it? Potentially potent questions as we race towards building AI. Uh, the singularity is not the only thing that, uh, that's important. Singularity, if you think about it, mankind gets wiped out. Okay, sure, that's, that's pretty drastic. Um, but in a way, that, that's not as bad as mankind creates AI and cruelly subjects another species to uh, the horrors of slavery and, and exploitation. Which one's worse? Uh, uh, th that's not a question uh, that has a clean answer.